Well, Moses, it seems nothing will stop the people from grumbling. I know, Joshua. I know. Oh, you'd think they'd remember what God had done for them in the past. Keep a sense of proportion. But no, each little thing they complain again. O Lord, wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? Wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight that thou layest the burden of all Israel on me? I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. God will help thee, Moses. Here is what thou must do. Gather together seventy men of the elders of Israel, and he will take of the spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them. And they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bear it not thyself alone. Don't speak with your mouth full, Nebat. Then perhaps we'll understand you. Yes, sir. What I meant was, what do you think Joel was talking about? He was saying something about choosing elders, but I didn't understand. It's quite simple, really. You remember some time ago Jethro visited our camp? Yes. Well, he suggested to Moses at that time that he was tiring himself out, giving all those judgments in private quarrels. That was when Moses appointed the rulers in the camp. Well, you know how people have started grumbling again about the food and one thing and another? They take all their troubles to Moses, and he has to listen. And I guess they're, they're just wearing him out. When I saw him yesterday evening, he looked just gray. So he asked the Lord what he should do. And the Lord said he was to select 70 of the elders, the best and the wisest of them, and gather them at the tabernacle. And God would fill them with his spirit, and they would be counselors to our people and comfort them. Do you understand? Oh, now I do. Sounds like a good idea, too. No, 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 brother. You go. Oh, 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 I'm not good enough. You know that. But I think you should go. Ah, here comes one of the rulers. Let's ask him what he thinks. Good afternoon, El Dad. Me, Dad. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand you're to be congratulated. You're among the chosen elders. Well, you're very kind, sir, but I was just telling me, Dad, that he should certainly go, but I don't think I should. I, I'm not worthy. Oh, what nonsense. There isn't a better man in the camp than you, El Dad. Oh, no, I'm the one who shall remain behind. Well, of course you shall both go. You're both good men and wise and kind, just the sort that Moses should select to help him. <laughs> The next day, early in the morning, Moses called the chosen elders to the tabernacle and set them around about the tabernacle itself. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Father, there are two missing, or else I've counted them wrong. Surely there were to be seventy elders. Yes, there were. Ah, I know what it is. El Dad and me Dad never came after all. Oh, that's too bad. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spoke unto Moses, and took of Moses' spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the elders. And it came to pass, when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied. Listen to me, all ye people. The Lord has filled my heart with his spirit, and given my eyes his vision. I see, Lord, the land of Canaan, and the fruits of the field, the land of milk and honey, where everything shall be plenteous, where all our present troubles shall be forgotten, and every one will be happy. But only if we are worthy of it shall we receive such goodness. It is too bad El Dad and me Dad aren't here. Father, let's go and see if we can persuade them to come after all. All right, Nebat. Let's go and see what we can do. But when they found El Dad and me Dad, they saw that a wonderful thing had happened. For the Lord's Spirit had descended on the two elders, even though they had not come to the tabernacle so that they too were filled with wonder and with prophecies. Our people have been chosen by the Lord 
to be the spiritual leaders of the world. What we learn from him, we shall teach all other peoples throughout the world, until the day cometh when all shall worship him. Joshua! Moses! My father and I, we just went back to the camp. There, we saw Eldad and me, Dad, and the Spirit of the Lord was in them, too. Truly, they too were prophesying. Two more? Oh, Moses, this is too much. You've got to stop them. With 70 prophets in the camp, you, you just won't have any authority left at all. Would God that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his Spirit upon them. Believe me, Joshua, I am not anxious to have power just for my own selfish pride. All I wish is what is best and wisest for my people. And this is best. You shall see. <laughs> 